Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, I did adjust the settings with the volume, so no more screaming and constantly yelling at deafness. So we should be good there. I haven't actually played since I adjusted, though I did it at the end of yesterday's episode. So we'll see how well it works. But yeah, right here where we left off. Um, this woman talked to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Uh, you seem to you. handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you. What are you working on? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> How'd, you end, How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Um, batteries? Shit. No. Couldn't figure it out, huh? Uh, Examine radio. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Uh. Okay. Flip it over. Open this. No batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. no. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What kind of... I don't even... Oh, good God. She doesn't know what batteries are? How do you not know what batteries are? Okay, I missed this. What is this? Easter egg hunt. The IT, IT guy? The it, IT. Okay. Talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. 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 Not just uh, yet. Not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Alright, moving stuff around on my desk if you hear anything. I apologize for the rustling. Okay. Uh, this way? Where are the batteries? We need batteries. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. You know, these days it seems like it'd be a very popular card. Hmm. Well, that was pointless. Anything in there? We oh. can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. This is newspaper clippings. Anything? Anything interesting? I don't remember them very well. The fuck? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Talk. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yeah. What's, What's the, plan? the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? 
Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their Did house or something own like this that? Place? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I made many yes. choices. Try to let it go. So, I don't know if that's true or not. Like, I, I didn't say it because the information I've gathered hasn't led me to believe. Trying to get some rest, that, huh? How can I with those things? But are out they there? actually? I don't like, remember them very well. Like, did his parents actually own this place? Batteries. One battery. And another one. So, is this actually his parents? And his brother? Because I didn't pick up on that. Alright, uh, what's in the box? Them and food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Alright. Hello, lady. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I think so, uh... Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Hmm. What's over here? ATM. Get the money. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Take that. You gonna take it? There you are. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Alright, that's good. Another energy bar. Just in case. Office. Another energy bar. Just in case. <laughs> I need another battery. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn <laughs> for the worse. You got it. <laughs> so basically, if he dies, come get you so we can have a party. Alright. Let's talk to these people. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. God, that my dad's won't name. give it to you. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. 
Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Hold on just a second. My air conditioner decided to come back on. And it's being very, very loud. I'm turning it off. Alright, he's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> no, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Uh, we've got kids here. We've family. got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got the first? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. So I'm they sorry. were parents. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, give her it's this. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay, now the, uh, unfortunate part. Alive inside. Oh boy. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Damn. This door leads to the back alley. Well, this just got really fucking depressing again. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily. There's a photo over there. There's a photo over there. <laughs> Why does he whisper it like that? <laughs> Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. 
You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep I'll it to myself. To Thanks. Don't worry about it. Pants came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. I don't see anything else in here. Uh-oh. That makes sense now. <laughs> That's how he knew it was an office, like almost immediately. What's that? Okay. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool, like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. Mm. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Alright, how do I do that? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Oh god. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Oh god. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Hmm. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and then I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Hmm. So we know what he did. Uh oh. Oh no. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find you a bandage. First aid kit. First aid kit. Go. On the TV remote. How are we doing over there? Okay. It still hurts. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Your 
bonding. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. Oh, I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. This might be it's a locked. Bit. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. So where would the key be? The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Dang it. Where's the key? Gotta be in here, I would assume. How you doing? Okay. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. <coughs> I have to go out back out here to find the key. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I uh why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Hmm. Alright, so we have to find the key. It's all melted now. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, before we do that, I'm going to search outside. Can I get in the bathroom? Doesn't seem to be. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. How are we doing? Because I still need to find batteries. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I want to find that key. I've been recording for a little too long. I might have to cut this. Jeez. 
I can tell him all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey, so what am I doing? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Sparler. Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. This is cool. I really Think like you can this. Do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> All right. Well fucking done, Get Doc. ready to run. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <laughs> I've got a few of them to take notice. I'm just watching TV. And... Not enough. Damn it. I can't reach that brick. TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. All right, I think I've got this Let's figured out. back inside. Okay. Got it. I know how to do it. It's just a matter of going and getting it. I need the cane. I need the cane, man. Come on. Oh, I wish I could run faster. Hey, then, uh, what's this? The pills are in there. Back in here. Come on. Why don't you just leave the door open, man? Cane. I need the cane. Is that not gonna let me do that? Come on. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's not gonna let me pick up the cane. Let's try out here then, I guess. Battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Still need one more. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey, Carly. 
I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get right. back to it. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this Thanks, episode bro. here. We'll Don't figure mention the rest it. of this out tomorrow. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Uh I'm hoping to figure out what's going on outside. I don't know what's going on out there, but for now, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be up tomorrow. Ta-ta.